Hello everybody, this is Bones. Welcome to another Let's Play. Today we are doing The Rake. Uh, now as you can see here from this, we have a... Well, we have a uh, very unusual game. Um, I, I'm not going to lie to you guys. Um, right off the bat, this is not one I'm going recommending. That's just me. Um, let, let, let's, let's play this, we'll talk about the rake a little. For those of you who don't know, the rake was a creepypasta, caught some traction. Um, of course, like the Slender Man thing, uh, which did not start as a creepypasta, guys. Don't get that screwed up. That started on somethingawful.com. Uh, so you have to give them credit for... Slender Man. That was not a creepy pasta invention. And the rake, however, was, um, and a single developer decided he was going to come around and make a game based on it. Now, I, I want to say flat out that that idea is. I, I thought it was an interesting idea. In, a, in the journal, so we're hunting the rake in this. Um. The animals and it attracts a lot many hunters. Not just many hunters, the most amount. A lot many hunters, which is, I mean, as you can imagine, that's a that's even more many hunters than not having any. Um, now, what we're doing here is grabbing cameras because you get five to pick up and put around. Um, this here does nothing really. It doesn't really. How it's a, a little board that's supposed to show you, you know, um, what's going on. It doesn't really do much. The, the main gameplay in this game, I'll be honest with you all, is this. Set up cameras that may or may not lead you to be able to spy on the rake. From there, hope to God you kill the rake before it kills you. And rinse and repeat, that's pretty much it right there. Um, now we're going to avoid, dude, I don't know, maybe, I'm going to save one camera near the end, I'm going to see where we're at. I generally don't like to put too many cameras clumped together. Um, now where we're going on this tablet here, because this is your map, I do know, uh, the rake tends to get the most activity around areas like this, if I remember anyway. Um, I played this before, this isn't what I'm going into blind. Um, so, again, you know, I tell you guys, I don't lie to y'all. And I mean that when I, when I start to uh, play a game, or if I'm playing one already, I tell you guys. If I'm doing one and I think that it's one you guys will enjoy, I tell you. Um, this one's kind of a weird one, so uh, I don't know if I can say that I highly recommend this title. Oh shit, I think I forgot something important as well here, but I'll deal with that when it comes. Okay, so, first step here is to hit C, which we're doing. We're gonna slappy dappy down a the camera there. Um, now, you can encounter the rake during the day, that can happen. Um, and the basic gameplay of this game is such. The rake is the weird creature, you will try to find it, it will try to find you. You will try to shoot it, but it rushes at you very quickly. Um, not quite Five Nights at Freddy jump scare speed, but faster than you'll think. I warn you that. Many hey, hey, hey! We're doing a video here. Keep it professional. Working with amateurs here. See this? Um, just kidding. That's, uh, that's our other little, our other little pup. Um, oh, I forgot about the car. Yeah, there's a car in here. Um, you'll find some other remnants of dead hunters who have tried to tangle with the rake. Um, I'm curious to see if he goes near the car. 
I've never actually put a camera near the car, so you know what, tonight maybe we'll, we'll or tonight, today we'll do that. I say tonight or today slash because there are two half an hour segments you really have, your day and your night time. I'm looking to see if there's anything else out here pointing this way. Um, I also forgot that they have horrible camera placement options in this, so maybe we won't do the car, who knows. Um, now, I say that because the, the car in this, um, what's going on here with it is that, one, once you set five cameras down, you're done. Um, I really would have liked a bigger number than five. Um, but this is a single developer, so they're working within their means. So what are you going to do? Um, this creepy little home has nothing in it right now. I want to say sometimes it does, but I don't, I can't lie to y'all and tell you that for sure. I don't remember. I do think I'm going to get get a hit here. So we're going to put one here. Um, I think that goes against what I, know. Nah, it's a spread out area a little. Um, okay, now there are hunting vines over here. So, uh, this is one area where hunting vines are. Uh, I don't think I've found... Yeah, I do not have trap. I do not have trap, guys. I can protect, but I cannot trap. If you guys don't understand memes, it's not going to be funny to you in the least. So, I apologize there. Um... So as you can see, you have to be a little strategic as to where to put your traps. Now, single developer, I would have liked to have seen him work with somebody else to improve this game, and I'll tell you why. I actually think there could have been more to this game. Now hear me out, because I know a lot of you are rolling your eyes, like, come on, man. Look at this thing. But, the swamp is a fairly creepy setting. You have mangrove trees out here, you have, uh... An you know, they tried to do within what they could do, the best they could do here. Um, the problem is, this is plagued by many of the issues single developer games are. In the end, you either expand your team as a single developer to keep a game going, or you suffer, you know, slower updating, all that. Um, um, this game, one reason I do not usually recommend it to people is because I believe it is dead. And by dead, I mean that the developer, I believe, has just stopped working on it. Now, that's as far as I know. I don't 100% uh, know this, but going by the promises made and the promises kept aspect, there were no promises kept. Um, the promises made here were that this individual was going to add multiplayer, um, and the ability to make servers and up to four people could play it, which sounded great. Um, that was in 2015, it is now 2018, so that tells you about where we're at with that. In other words, it did not happen. Um, I would have personally liked to have seen it. And I think it would have went a long way with this game, because it needed some oomph, it needed something else to keep it going. Um, and I think they were just kind of hoping that the dynamic they made would be enough. Um, but it wasn't. And again, I'm going to tell you why I'm that. I don't mean to keep dogging this guy here. But I'm just telling you guys flat out what you're getting here. Um, now, when I first picked this up, I want to say a buddy uh, of mine when I was playing Rust heavily um, and on one of the servers that I was on I think it was Optics something of another um, which were good servers by the way, I just can't remember the damn name I do believe that they ended up going now this is a weird creepy little castle type thing I have heard lots of people tell me to put one here so we're gonna we're going to listen to some suggestion on the net and put one here. It's a place I normally don't put one near the castle, I guess this is called, but we're going to. 
because apparently the rake will show for that one. Um, they say. I personally don't remember which ones work for him and which don't. <clears throat> I don't... I, I know they tried to make it random, but I don't actually really believe it's random. I can tell you all from my personal experience, the one that I'm really shocked never works is the one I'm headed toward now. You'll see this little red dot there to the right. I've never ever had a break incident where this thing has went there. I have installed this over the years because I want to like this game. Um, and if the developer ever sees it or somebody who works on this or, or wants to mod this and knows how, here are my suggestions. There's a 30 minute day cycle, then it turns to night cycle. I feel like that's a long time to be playing a lesser known title. That's a lot, that's a lot of your day invested in this title. Um, and the developer clearly had confidence in his work. And the day cycle you can easily burn through just by walking on the map, like I am doing. Only I am hunting for the sniper rifle, which is back here in this little um, area. But you can see why I would expect the rake to be lurking back here. Um, but I'm telling you now to learn from my mistakes. I've never had him trip my camp here. So today we're not even putting one there. We're going to put one in places I normally don't and see how that does for me. I get a feeling it would be better. There's a bloody foot of a previous hunter. And there, my friends, is the sniper rifle. Um, and some ammo for it. Now we can leave because there's nothing else back here that I remember I need. Unless I'm wrong, the traps I do not see. The traps are in a separate place, I believe, unless I looked past them. But I think they are... Obviously there's someone else on the map. There's no point to even debating that. But you see back there what I mean. Look at this little tablet. You can see why, if I were a cryptid of some sort, that would be my go-to spot. It is not. Now I know all the way north of the map there to the left, near that little lake. You can't even remotely put a camera. Um, if I remember right, someone said he actually lives in a cave up there, so if we have enough time, maybe we'll go try to tangle with him in his lair and kill him, but... Um, who knows, maybe it'll make him more active, I don't know. Anyways, I need two more spots that I think he'll trip off. I don't think, if he lives north, I don't see why he would hang around the south of the map. Um, and we're only playing one night of this, because otherwise two two nights, two full cycles, would be t a two-hour let's play. Um, and I'm just going to be frank here, I can't see giving us that much time. And again, I'm not trying to be brutal about it, this just is what it is. It's a small game. Um, it's an interesting game. I'm not going to lie and say it's not. It is an interesting game, but it is a game that I personally don't see the huge merit in as far as a let's play. Um, and what I mean by that is I want to do a video on it because it's it falls under what I've already said for you all our channel would be about, which is lesser known games, things like that. It falls under there. It does. Um, but my reason for sharing this with you is more to discuss what could have been with this game, if you follow me. Um, I think if the developer would update it again, he could read some new life into this. Um, so we're going to talk... <coughs> sorry, sorry guys. We are going to talk about how... One, day and night cycle, too damn long, man. Way too damn long. Um, I think 15 minutes per both is a much more reasonable number, and I'll tell you what. 15 minutes to me is kind of a, you know, that's an end all be all thing where anybody. 
Okay, that's a weird noise, and I don't think that is uh, something known. I think that is the rake. I don't know if you guys heard that. The sound is very low right now. I'm going to turn it up just a little here and see if you guys can hear this thing. Um, I'm curious about that. I heard something out there, and I do not think it was a deer or... Oh uh, boy, that was weird, I'm not going to lie. What the are the traps? I don't remember now. I'm sure you heard Pigsley there. I call him Pigsley. Um, on the Titans, I do actually play this. Which is not often. Um, like I said, I got this when this first started, actually. Now to show you guys, give you guys a little sample of what we're dealing with here. This is what I mean. Camera, the last camera's not put up. So you just hit E, then you can start looking at these things. You can actually even move them around a little. Now the camera part of this game is actually quite decent. And uh, it's a mechanic that I think works. The thing that sucks uh, is that A, if you aren't being very careful and paying attention to what camera you put exactly where when one camera goes down, because the rake destroys them. Um, for some reason he hates cameras. Um, I would have liked a little lore to that maybe as well developers, you know, tell us why he breaks the shit out of the cameras, why is he so angry about it. That would have been good. Um, I'm not doing them near the swamps. I always used to. I'm not this time. And I want one in this middle area here. I feel like there's a lot of real estate we're not touching with this, so let's touch things. That didn't sound good. Um... Also, I, I cannot find the damn traps to put down, but there are traps you can put down in this. On the cameras. Oh yeah, I, should, I guess I should talk about that. What is the benefit of a trap? Well, by doing that... Let's see, this is the other thing that pisses me off. You see this map here? According to this, there is a camera right here in this spot. It's not, it's over here. Now, that seems petty. But, again, remember, you only get five of these, so you got to be deadly precise all the damn time. And because of that, I feel like that is a detrimental thing that they have done here by not showing you the exact damn spot that these cameras are. Like, pinpoint accuracy on this. Um, two, I feel like if a camera gets attacked, the dot should turn blue, so it marks it. Three, fifteen minutes day, 15 minutes a night, I think a half an hour for both is too long because one round is an hour. And unless you're settling in for the evening and are single uh, and are not a parent, you are not going to be able to devote that much time to one hunting type game. Um, I'm telling you this from personal experience. <laughs> Life happens when you're busy playing games. Um, life happens all the time. So you don't want to be playing this when you should be cooking or anything like that. Don't be that, that person playing this, alright? I'm not going to say don't be that guy. I think in video games, uh, over half the gamers out there are women now, which I applaud. Um, because I think that video games are for everybody, man. You know, back in the day, um, I know there are a lot of people that are, oh, well, we don't, you know, women in our video games. Um, and joke about it, but honestly, the gaming community as a whole that I've seen is very accepting of women. I, I've heard people say that supposedly women get bullied and harassed for being in games. And I say, welcome to being uh, a guy. Because that that is how they give you the hazings as a as a we've always dealt with it, uh, especially on Rust. Eh? Lord knows I've been called every name in the book, except funny, until the entire map decided I was hilarious, and then I became known as the funny guy on the server. Um, <coughs> I do know during the raid, I, I helped uh, on another person's base. 
and Rust that I remember I was busy running around playing music outside people's cabins using my cell phones, so people enjoyed my little sing-alongs, apparently. Ah, no, I think this is the cabin I've been looking for here with the, uh, with the traps. Okay, it is just a weird-ass deer. I don't think that's what I heard earlier, personally. I don't believe that, but maybe I did. Um, now you'll see here there are traps. I think, again, you get, like, five. So, it's almost, you know, a little serendipitous to get one for each camera. He sounds drunk. Now, one very positive thing is that the cameras, or that the cameras, so the uh, traps are reusable. This is great. We want this because this little shit is very quick. Do not listen. I'm going to tell you guys one thing about this game. You will probably see me jump this Let's Play. Um, it's not quite a jump scare thing with the rake. It's more of a... It's a tension thing. You know he's coming. He's coming. And then all of a sudden... It's just... It's chase... You know, it's charging right at you. Um, and the gun system in this game is such that you have to press one mouse button to aim and the other to shoot. Uh... Which kind of blows because again, that's that's not easy to deal with when you're dealing with some weird little demonic mon monkey creature. Um, and he is affectionately called the demon monkey by a lot of fans. Um, anyways, I do actually recommend you read the Rake story. If you enjoy weird little short, creepy stories, it's an interesting creepy pasta because it's written as a collection of sightings. But the settings are written as fact. Now, obviously, there is no rake. Um, do I believe in cryptozoology? The unknown study of animals? I do, actually. Um, I myself have seen some weird shit out there. If you want me to make a video on that, I will. Just drop me a, a comment in the description if you guys would like to hear about any of the weird things that, uh, or if you guys want to know more about Michigan cryptids, because we have some weird ones, man. And I would gladly, uh, do a video on it for you guys. Just let me know. Uh, Michigan is so strange with weird creature settings and bizarre activity that there is a website called Weird Michigan. This is true. And it is basically all about the strange and unknown creature sightings, all this other stuff out there that, uh, people report. <clears throat> Not to mention there are different weird homes. Um, Detroit has the shoe tree, the the pink castle, which is a uh, well. I, I'll put it in another video, but uh, yeah, there are quite a few weird things here. Um, the warden's house, which is really not talked about. Um, and I've had an encounter with a cult that we happened upon by accident. Um, and they were not pleased, and we were surprised. So, yeah, that was weird. Um, anyways. So I don't really want to talk much more about that, because it's more of a... Well, hi there, little pup. It's Mutant Dog. He's awake. He's been sleeping in today. Um, I'm shooting this video earlier than I do a lot of our Let's Plays. And I wake up far before the dogs do. So. They're lazy. They sleep in. If you notice now, we're down to six minutes, yo. Six minutes. Um, but no, I mean, there, there's... I believe that it's possible. Highly possible and highly probable that we do not understand all the species of animal out there, nor do we know them, nor do we have them classified. If you think we know everything there is to know in the world, then what is the point of discovery and wonder? The whole point of the human imagination is to have no limits. When you start putting limits on it, when you start putting limits on what is out there, what could be out there, then you start killing your inner child, you know? So to me, I would rather keep out hope of the weird and unusual. I'm weird and unusual. 
And if I exist, other things can too. I mean, I'm sitting here doing a let's play with you all wearing a weird mask. Do you think that this is normal? No, not in any way. I know I should trap that one at the bottom, but it's cutting it close, and I really don't want to waste that much time. <clears throat> now, why do you trap the cameras? Because it wounds the rake, and they're reusable. At night, we're going to consist of a different strategy than I normally use. Um, we're going to watch the cameras a little, see if we can narrow down where his activity is the strongest. And lastly, from there, that is kind of going to give us all we need to know. I hope. <clears throat> and by the way, do not step on those traps, because yes, they will injure you. Um, we have done all we can do here. It is in the rake sand now. When you're done, if you have any time left over, you can skip the rest of the day by just walking up to that. I think I would have liked it if they made that something you pressed E and then it did its business. I don't like that um, walking too close sets it off because I constantly accidentally set it off. Now again, here it starts our 30 minute timer for the night and now you can kind of see, like I said, 15 minutes. If somebody wants to mod this and knows how, like I said, I, I wish the developers would at least just let Workshop have at it with this and open a workshop and let people... I know they need to protect their stuff, but letting people use some sort of API would be good, I think. So they can mod things and put things in there. Oh, I think I hear something, guys. It doesn't sound like a rake, though. Red is motion. So again, this aspect of this game works very well. Um, now, I, I want to talk a little. I've been told another game that's more recent, and I think I've seen a little video. I want to say this was a video I've seen before, of uh, one where you hunt Bigfoot, um, and also set cameras down and traps and stuff. So it's similar to this one, but I think a different company makes it, because the video I saw looked a lot cleaner. It looked a lot nicer. I think that's the rake over there. That might be wrong. Oh, camera fire. Oh, shit. Man, that made me jump. Okay, so real quick, we're looking on the map immediately. Oh, shit, shit, shit. So where was that? He is in the middle section of the map. Oh, that made me jump. Made me friggin' jump. Let's see if we can get him to trip off one more of these. He is very fast. There he is. So two hits, guys. Two hits. Now I'm trying to triangulate him. Oh shit, he hit three of my cameras. Man, he's fast. So he's in that middle section. Um, I can't, the mouse cursor won't go, but if you look there in between the triangle, he's there. Oh, this is going to be a rough night of hunting him, I can tell you that. We're also going to grab a few extra cameras to slap Daddle some more down in case I need to bitch out and leave. We can still do some recon on him to figure out his next move. But we're out in the wild now, we're in this. We're in this. Alright, point me in the direction, coach. We're ready to play the game. Um, this game, I would have been done better to turn the lights behind me off, but I didn't think of that. You'll also find him straight up murdering pigs in wildlife. Um, he's a little bit of a douche. And I believe... Oh, dude. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I jumped when I heard that. Um, but you see what I mean. The rake creature is effective. The mechanics, however... I don't know. 
I, it annoys me, first of all, that the developers just gave up on this title because I think they gave up before this title saw its full potential. Um, I want to say in a thread ages ago when this game first came out, even I offered to do some texture work for them and go out there. And at the time, I used to have a very decent camera and take some decent textures of, of wildlife, of the ground, of different things that I thought they could use. You know, and I, I had a decent enough camera where it would have turned out very well and they would have had much higher resolution stuff to use, at least for the texture work. And, uh, it wasn't shrugged off or anything, and I have nothing bad to say about them saying, you know, no, I respect that. Um, it's just, yes, he's straight up, he was right here. So I don't like that bullshit. So we're gonna put a camera right here. Set a trap. Put the trap right there. And then we're going to grab our whatchamacallit here. Oh, fuck me running. I, dude, I do not like this part of the game at all. I like horror games, don't get me wrong. But I'm not gonna pretend it'll jump. <coughs> But I think that's what I like about them. Nope. Don't know what the hell that was. I need to get someplace where I got a clearing so I can see this little shit coming at me. Um, I also have binoculars too, if I remember right, that do some sort of night vision shit. Okay, good, good, good. No, that's oh no, that's back toward us. Okay. Sorry guys, I do not know where the hell I'm going right now. Um, I should have probably played a few rounds of this and memorized the map, but again, each round is an hour, so I don't have that much time, right? Um, to be frank with you all. And I'm afraid to check my camera because I don't want this little shit catching me slipping. I literally think I just walked by him. That's creepy. Now I'm near the swamp, I can tell that. Um, and again, the swamp is a great place for horror games. I've been fascinated with the swamp since I was a kid. I just always wigged me out by how creepy and uninviting and weird and almost alien it was as far as a human environment. If you think about it really, the swamp is one of the spookiest ass places you could be. You know, there are these giant critters out there in the form of alligators that will kill your ass and end you. Jesus, you little shit. Oh my god, he got me good. Oh, round one. Rake. Well played, sir. Well played. I hear this cool music. Um, and I call it cool. I should just call it creepy, I suppose. I don't know. It's kind of generic in a way, but it adds something again. These are aspects of the game that I think were good, that they did. Aspects that I believe were bad, that they did, um, are simple. And this is our night vision binoculars. This is going to be a lifesaver when it comes down to figuring out what the hell is going on. Ah. Um, I am looking to see where this thing is stalking around, and then we're going to try to snipe them from up here, guys. That's our game plan. Look, it's not the most heroic. I don't really care. We're about survival and killing this thing. Not about being a hero. Uh, and as my older brother used to say, the difference between a hero and an idiot is a step sideways. Deep shit. Alright, so. Here's our sniper rifle. Now again, would it have killed the developers to let us zoom in more? No. So why didn't they? I don't know. But if you think about it... I would have liked the sniper or rifle reticle to be about this size. Just circular. So that, you know... I mean, you're trying to snipe the thing. You're not, you don't need to show us the whole gun as much. It's a sniper rifle. The other gun is a rifle. Um, but frankly, it looks more like a shotgun, and I think they used to shotgun noise, so. But 
but I'm in the U.S., so of course I, I love, you know, I know more about guns. I can't say I love guns, but I know more about guns. Uh, again, I do Let's Plays. I'm not here to talk politics. And we have a variety channel, and we're here to help you forget your troubles, not to, not to expound them with tons of crazy shit, so... Well, this is not going to make for a very exciting Let's Play, so for, so for the sake of you all, I'm going to forgo the safety of my little uh, artificial womb here and get my ass down. Now, no doubt this thing's going to go cheap on me and rush me, because he's an asshole. So I'm going to go straight for the other blind. Now, what happens is you'll see him for like a second or two before he runs at you. Okay, so nothing here. So I'm not doing very good at predicting where he's going to be. I'm normally a little better at that. But I know that... Do you all hear him? So he was close. He was close to here. So if I stay in this blind, I think we're going to get a good shot at him. I'm just looking to see him approaching because he was right there somewhere. And I can see why he would pick this blind. It's surrounded by trees and brush, and he's very hard to see coming here. Um, in terms of a programmer standpoint, I think the game uh, developer wanted him to rush at you through here because you've never seen him coming. Now, I also don't find that very fair, personally. Um, I feel like we should have had a few more tools to use against this little shit. Um, Maybe less jump scare. One question I have for anybody that does own this. Oh, there's a pig too. Is I hearing the pig originally? I'm going to pretend that I wasn't and that he was out there. I, I think he was out there for a moment anyway. But I could think, too, uh, maybe this is a part of the game that is the most realistic, because if you think about it, we're basically just talking conjecture about a creature that we think is out there right now trying to kill us, and we don't know. So, that's kind of, a, you know, true in the case of a lot of cryptozoology sightings. Is you have an unknown creature, you have speculation, and then you have to either prove or disprove that speculation. Is it dangerous? What does it do? I mean, look at how far we are with technology. We still can't prove or disprove Bigfoot. <coughs> um, now the people who don't believe there's anything like that out there, I have to say, is it that hard to believe there's an unknown species of ape that people are misidentifying? Because to me, that's what I think it is that they're seeing. It's just a species of ape. Personally, if I were to if I were to pick one thing, that's what I would tag it as. I don't know what else I would think it is. Now, well, clearly, we're going to be putting one here. You little fuck! You, you actually knocked me down. Clearly, we're putting one here because he doesn't like us to see this area, and I'm out of fucking traps. So we're gonna guard this one back against the tree and see if we can get him to come around. I think he ran off that way, didn't he? Alright, I got my gun on you now, pal. We're running out of time. I will say that. Now, it's not safe to stand right here. I should be in a blind again, but... Uh, as you see, he doesn't come around the blinds. I think if he came around the blinds more, it would make the blinds more useful. But in my experience... Gotcha, bitch. I've never even had a huge sighting of him there. Um, also, his health meter is insane. Insane to a scary degree. Alright, Rake, I see you. 
At this point, we're just going to keep trading bows, I think. Now, he was this way. But I am going to predict he's going to come around this way again because of weird game logic. He should technically run at me from this way, because that's the way he ran. So, this is going to answer a very important question for me. If he comes at me from the other way, then I know he is not physically programmed. Meaning, he's not a real physical entity in the game. That's... He's... Yeah, well, I'm right. Uh, he is not, then, programmed to be a proper physical entity in the game. That I know of. And I'm saying that for one simple reason. If you pay attention to what's going on here, you'll notice he's coming from an opposite way he ran. If he was a physical object in the game, like these pigs are, um, he should have a set path he has to follow. There should be no what we call blinking in and out of existence here. Um, and teleporting. Weirdly, some cryptozoology creatures, um, fans of them are, are arguing that that's what, how they, why we can't see them, because that's what they do, they're interdimensional beings, but, uh, we're getting off the trail. There's a whole speculation on that. So, no, I mean, to me, eh, yeah, Bigfoot, explainable, giant type of gorilla somewhere that has evolved over time, um, and I know some of you probably think I'm crazy for even saying that, but it's not that out of the realm of possibility. We're talking about a giant ape, man. Why not a giant ape? Why not simplify it a little more and logically it, it could very well be a giant ape of some sort. This one we don't know about. Weirder shit has happened. Do I believe it's possible? Sure, why not? Why not? Do I believe it's probable? The giant ape thing, yes. Giant ape man, I'm not quite sure. Um, I know there have been a lot of recent sightings of weird stuff like this too going on in the world, so... Who's to say? You know, I'm not gonna, I'm not totally gonna knock it, because whenever we think we know everything, some crazy shit happens in the world to be like, no, no you don't, and then we're wrong, so. Um, I did not actually want to do that, I wanted to use my first aid, and I did not. I couldn't get it to select. Okay, camera one down, camera two down. So he has wasted two cameras that quickly. Now this is a very important one, camera two, because that's... That's me in there. So if I see him near there, I'm fucked. Now here's the one we put up when we got into the little slap and shoot. It sounds like a fetish thing. A little slap and shoot. Okay, okay. Um... I believe this is down here near the bottom of the map, so that's been a no- Oh! I was gonna say that's been a no-hit for me too, but something just kicked off on that there. Okay, two... I think he's gonna come for us tonight. I don't think he's gonna wait. I think he's gonna get very aggressive here and come straight toward the trailer. See, he killed that pig. Um... So, two different pig mines. So, he likes the areas here where the feeding stations are. Uh, so, if you do end up getting this game after seeing this Let's Play, just be aware, those seem to be hotbed areas for him. Um, you'll see here, they just kind of grabbed at whatever pictures they could find on the internet. Like, that was a... I think it was a movie publicity stunt, that one. Um... And that is, oh, let me turn this off over here. That is actually a drawing someone did of the rake itself. No, now, I am curious to know, you guys, what is the actual deal with this Bigfoot one? Is it, is it like this? Is it, um, how are the graphics? These are on high right now. The only setting higher than this is Ultra. Um, which I think my PC would have ran fine. I have a bit of a beast of a machine here. Um, my graphics card is pretty good. Not the best. 
are pretty good. It's a, uh, I think I got a 1060 with the highest uh, amount of video memory you can get for one. Um, eventually, I like to move it up to a 1080 <coughs> or higher. Call me, Nvidia. Call me. <coughs> We have 11 minutes to go, 10, before the end of this Let's Play, pretty much, and I'll wrap it up after that. So I'll tell you what we're going to do for you guys, we're going to get out there again, and see if I can uh, get another shot or two in at this little shit at least, because he's been way too quiet now. I don't know where he is, but I don't like it. So let's take a look at the map. Where has he been the most consistent at destroying cameras? Uh, and if you look there, I believe I put one... I didn't put one near the swamp. At this time, which is good, because every time I do, he just he's just never there. At least on the lower side of the swamp there. The south of the three green dots there, and that little belt uh, is no longer hitting well for me. He doesn't seem to give a shit about those cameras. Which makes me think he's either moved south or north, and I need to figure out where. So we're going to watch him one last time before I head out. And I expect motion on these, because these are pig, pig traps. I do wonder why he didn't kill that camera, though. If he's south, I'm surprised this one hasn't got him. Um, now... Let's talk about this game a little more here. Um, yeah, I would like to see if developers step working on games. You know, and this is a plea to developers out there from a gamer who enjoys not seeing a title that I buy go to waste. Um, open it up. Open it up to the fans. Let them mod it. Let them keep improving what you don't want to improve. Um, but don't do what... Like I said, I'm pretty sure this is a dead title in the term of um, it's just not going to see any more improvements, any more work done on it, any of that. I think it is just dead. And did it actually crash on me while playing it? It did. Well, then we're going to end this Let's Play here. Um, that's it. That's the end of the round. I don't bullshit you guys. I'm not removing this from the Let's Play. This is staying like this. Um, if you like this below, give us a give us a like. Um, subscribe if you have a favorite video we've done. Share it with your friends. Um, I guess we'll call this a draw between us and the us and the rake. Since technology intervened, I don't know what else to call it. Uh, and I'm not going to make y'all sit through a whole another hour of this shit. So, uh, all right. As usual, I am Bones. You guys have a great day.